Hello and welcome to our channel, your cat and dog destination. My name is Mackenzie and in today's video I'm going to be giving you my top five tips on how to keep your senior dog young. So if you have a senior dog like me and you want to know some of my tips that I use to keep my dog young, then keep watching. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you will have seen my nine-year-old Rottweiler Mastiff, Fred, which I will post a picture of him here. Fred is the absolute love of my life and I have had him for the last eight years and over the last three to four years I have been implementing these five tips and they have really helped to make sure that he maintains a healthy lifestyle. All right, so starting off with number one is you want to keep your dog at a very healthy lean weight. So a lot of senior dogs, as they age, they're not as active, they're more sedentary, and they start to gain weight, especially if you're feeding them the same amount of food that you fed them their whole life. I mean, it's, it's just like humans. They are going to start to put on a little bit of weight. And especially for bigger dogs, it's very important that they stay lean because then all that extra weight is more weight on their joints, on their muscles. So it's just not as good if they have got extra weight, so you wanna try and keep them lean. Because you see your dog every day, they just look normal to you. But I can instantly look at a dog and be like, that dog's overweight. You might not think that the dog is overweight because you're so used to them looking that way, but I'm gonna show you how I monitor Fred's weight. So I'm gonna insert a clip here. So essentially when I'm looking over top of him, you wanna see a natural indent in their sides. You don't want it to be straight and you don't want it to be bulging out for sure and you want to be able to touch their side and you want to be able to feel their ribs you don't want to have to push really hard to feel the ribs you want to just be able to put your hands beside them and you can feel the ribs they're not like you can't really see them they're not protruding or anything but they you can feel them that they're there if that's what your dog's weight looks like then you know that you, your dog is at a healthy weight and it's going to be optimal for their health long term one thing you can do too if you want to cut back their food just a little bit you can do one of two ways if you feed twice a day maybe split it up to three times a day so your dog still feels like they're getting um, full and eating but you can just maybe decrease the amount of food doesn't even have to be a by a big amount but just a little bit and then um, you'll start to see the impact of them losing the weight over a couple weeks or a month or so all right number two that goes directly in line with the weight is keeping your dog active so you want to make sure that your dog is going on walks something in motion stays in motion something at rest stays at rest so you want to make sure that your dog is constantly being active and moving their body whether that's you know moving around in your backyard or taking your dog on long walks if you've seen in some of my other videos and i'll put a link to um, a car driven video i did up here but fred was diagnosed with osteoporosis also known as our arthritis. And I noticed that from when he started to limp a lot. So Cartrophin, which has helped a lot combined with taking him on a lot more walks has helped to eliminate his limping entirely. So we go on two 45 minute walks a day. So he's constantly moving his body. So it's really important to keep your dog active. Just like humans, you want to keep your body active and in good shape. You want that for your dog. So you want your dog to be a healthy weight and you want them to also be constantly moving their body. And Number three is enrichment. So as your dog ages, it's very easy for them to just get in a routine, but I have found with Fred that it's super important to keep your dog enriched and experiencing new things. So what I like to do is I will do some brain game toys with him. If you want a couple DIY videos on that, please leave them in the comments below and I will be happy to make a video on what I do for Fred. And then we'll also go on walks to new areas. So like I'll walk a different direction that I haven't gone in before and he can smell all new things, which is super, super great for their brain. They just, it's like all the smells that they're getting to smell are all new smells. And I can tell when I'm walking him in those areas, he gets so excited and we do a lot of stops, but, and I know it can get frustrating sometimes when your dog wants to stop and sniff 24 seven, but it's super, super great for their brain to be doing that. I like to go on hikes or take him to new spots that we haven't been before and I just constantly want him to be experiencing new things so that I can know that he's lived a fulfilled life not just within my home and my neighborhood but he gets to experience other things as well. Number four is supplements. So the most important supplement I have found for Fred is giving a glucosamine supplement. So as we age our bones and everything starts to, you know, 
age and deteriorate over time and things like arthritis will happen and there's not as much lubrication within the joints. So glucosamine is a super, super important uh, supplement to be giving your dog. And I will link a video where I did a glucosamine review. And if you can find one that is extra strength, it's, it's especially good for aging dogs because it has extra active ingredients that will help to keep their joints lubricated as they continue to age. And some dogs, I have heard stories where People will say, oh, my dog is starting to limp or that I can see that their age, you know, they're starting to age and they're a little bit more uncomfortable and more stiff. And then they'll give them the glucosamine and it will be like, I can't really snap. It'll be like a huge difference in their mobility, which is great to hear. And it's something that I've been giving Fred for a very long time and I will continue to give him for the rest of his life. And number five is doing annual vet checks. I did not used to take Fred to the vet every single year because he was healthy, he was younger. I would only take him for shots or when there was a situation where he needed to go to the vet. But for the last three to four years, I have been taking him to the vet every year for a checkup and getting annual blood work. The reason why I do this is because if something does come up, and um, you know, if he gets sick or I notice something and we need to do blood work then, we've got a previous blood work that isn't that far off the current one that we've just done. So it allows you to have a little bit more of a better understanding of how long it's been since maybe there's been a change. So year over year, um, I actually, I. Uh, just took Fred a couple months ago. So they're able to compare um, the one from this year and the one to last year and they can see if there's any big differences and then we can kind of gauge, okay, this must have happened within the last year and it just gives you a better understanding of what the issue is and when it's arised. So I think that that is super important because especially as dogs age, things can change and happen really quickly. So it allows you to feel more comfort and then it gives your vet a better understanding of the scope of what's going on. So I think that that's been a super important one for me and given me so much comfort with Fred. And another thing too, what I'll do is if I'm noticing anything, like especially with dogs as they get older, they'll get lumps and bumps and all these weird skin tag things. And so I will make sure ahead of my appointment that I'll go in with like, okay, these are all the things that I need them to check or questions I have. And I will show the vet all of them and they'll be like, nope, nope, that's fine. Oh, maybe we need to look at that. We'll monitor this. And it gives me a lot of comfort. And then I'm like, okay, we're, we're good. So I always make sure to go into those vet appointments prepared and ask all the questions that I need. And it's a great opportunity for you to pick your vet's brain. If there's anything you're, you know, having concerns about, then it's a great time to utilize their expertise. The last thing too, I wanted to mention about having a senior dog is it can be hard seeing your dog age and knowing that they're not gonna be here forever. And I'm really gonna try to not get upset when I talk about this. But a few things that I've tried to do with Fred um, is be present and be in the moment with him and experience things with him. So sometimes I'll catch myself on my phone and he's laying there and it can be morbid to think, but I think, oh my gosh, one day he's not gonna be here. I don't need to be on my phone. I should be putting my attention towards playing with him, you know, rubbing him, cuddling him, giving him treats, making sure that he knows how loved he is. So I feel like that is super important and I always try to make an effort to do that because one day, whew, one day he's not gonna be here and dogs definitely don't live long enough. So it's so important to cherish every moment that you have with your dog and love on them and give them the absolute best quality of life that you can give to them. And another thing I try to do is I try to take lots of pictures and lots of videos and just so I have those memories because they do go by so quickly and uh, I just wanna cherish every single second that I have with him. If you have a senior dog and you wanna tell me a little bit about your senior dog or share a cute story or tell me how old your dog is or anything about your dog, if there's other tips you have that you use for your senior dog, please leave them below. I would love to have a conversation with you and talk about that. And I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.